Good afternoon and welcome. <clears throat> the Holy Mass is a solemn, sacred event. Please silence all tech devices. Recording devices are permitted if used with discretion. With a prayerful, humble spirit, all are expected to actively participate in the entire Mass. The bishop and parish staff will be available after Mass for photographs. The newly confirmed will leave by the main aisle. The place for photographs will be announced at the end of Mass. Receiving Holy Communion in the Catholic Church is a sign that we are in union with the Church's teaching and leadership and are not guilty of serious, grave, or mortal sin. Catholics are reminded to bow before receiving our Lord's sacred body and most precious blood. Our worship will begin with the entrance of the Confirmandi. Please conduct yourselves accordingly. The worship guide contains everything needed for all to take an active part in today's celebration. Parents, sponsors, and candidates will find their responses on page four. The guidelines for recording devices and for receiving Holy Communion are also found in the worship guide. And now, please stand as we join in singing our entrance chant, One Spirit, One Church.
church of God, a family of believers, disciples of the Lord, united in one spirit, ignited by the the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Bishop Felici, the parish community of St. Mary in Rutherford, welcome you with great joy today if you come to visit us to confer the sacrament of confirmation. The bishop is not only the auxiliary bishop of Newark, but he's also the Episcopal vicar of Bergen County. So it's always a great joy for us to have you with us. Welcome. Thank you very much. Delighted to be here. Thank you. In baptism, we are adopted into the life of God's family, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord. 
Lord Jesus, you show us the way to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the source of all truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the sign of the Father's love. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to eternal life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, 
in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus, the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger, and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Blessed are you, 
who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Bishop Felici, the Parish family of St. Mary Church asks you to confer upon these candidates the gift of the Holy Spirit through the Sacrament of Confirmation. I ask those who are to present themselves for the sacrament to please stand. Holy Mother Church asks that its members be suitably prepared for confirmation so they may freely and knowingly accept the Holy Spirit 
Have these candidates been instructed thoroughly? Bishop Felici, I testify that they have joined with their parents and catechists in our parish preparation program. They have completed their service projects. They are ready to open their hearts to the Holy Spirit. Would the parents and guardians and sponsors of these candidates please stand? My dear parents, guardians, and sponsors, your sons and daughters have petitioned to be confirmed. Do you promise to help them grow in the grace of this sacrament? Yes, Bishop Fleecy. We promise to support them in their Catholic faith and duties. My dear candidates, do you understand and accept the Holy Spirit into your lives? Do you know this sacrament is not only for your personal growth, but also to aid the parish and the entire church? Are you ready to accept the grace and responsibilities that confirmation brings? Yes, Bishop Fleecy. We have asked our pastor, Father Michael Creeder, to accept us for this sacrament. We ask the support of our parish family. We say yes to the teachings of our faith and to the gift of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ and his church, I accept you for the sacrament of confirmation and pray that the grace and gifts you are to receive will strengthen your faith and assist the growth of the kingdom of God on earth. I think I was in the sixth grade. Anyway, I was 11 years old. And I was coming home from school, about a mile walk from our parish school in Jersey City. I was coming home to have a soup and sandwich for lunch. Now my mother, who was a public school teacher, sometimes joined me. When she was there, I always had the soup. Anyway, we always had the radio on and were listening to the news or something else. And I can't remember anything that I heard over those years of eating lunch that was on the news, with one exception. I even remember the date, May 29th, 1953. And an announcement came on, which I guess puzzled me because I didn't completely understand it. Maybe that's why I remembered it. But it said it was an announcement from England and the announcement said that a gentleman by the name of Edmund Hillary, who turned out to be from New Zealand, had been the first person to successfully climb Mount Everest, all 29,029 feet. He was aided and assisted by a Nepal resident, what they call a Sherpa or guide, by the name of Tenzing Norgay. Anyway, what fascinated me about it was they said they had been trying for 20 years or more, this British climbing group, to make it to the summit of this mountain. And it took this long for somebody to make it to the top. I guess maybe because it stuck in my head that I noticed over all the years since how many people are absolutely fascinated by the thought of climbing Mount Everest, I not being one of them. <laughs> anyway, I've noticed that books keep getting published and movies keep getting made about people who, some of whom successfully make it to the top but never make it back down. And the risk and sacrifice that they are willing to put up with for years in order to have that experience. And so I said to myself, being on the top of that mountain must be, or they think it will be, the experience of their full humanity lived to the utmost, a transcendent experience of being human. And they're willing to sacrifice anything to know that even for a few moments. Sometimes their stay is very brief because the dangers of getting down are evidently as great, if not greater, than the dangers of going up. And yet, people keep on trying. I said to myself, there must be something in the human heart 
that constantly aspires to accomplish something like this, a transcendent experience of being human. And then I thought back to the New Testament. And I thought back to the Old Testament too. Remember Moses going to the top of that mountain and it was there that he had the transcendent experience of encountering God and receiving the gifts of the law. Those gifts of the law are really the ways you can get lost on the journey to community because that's what God is interested in, building a human community where people can work together and live together in harmony and peace. Yes, but it's also something that I remembered over the years, Hillary said, I would never have made it without the guide. Ah, uh, yes, the guide, because it was the guide who told him, don't go there or you'll never set one more foot. You'll fall off the edge. Don't go there. Make sure you do this. You've got to try harder. Always it was the guide, encouraging him, but challenging him all the time. Wow, I thought. It's an incredible lesson, and in some ways, so much resembles what Jesus does in the New Testament, because Jesus gives each of us a guide, a guide, so that as we journey and climb the mountain of life, we will have somebody who can show us the way and make sure that we don't wander off in the wrong direction. That gift, that Holy Spirit, is what is meant to be a guide, only this guide doesn't stand outside of you, this guide stands inside of you. If Jesus were to walk in today and walk right down the aisle right now and turn around and say, hi, everybody, I, I haven't walked the earth in 2,100 years, what's new? Uh, you would probably all do the same thing, all those who are about to be confirmed. They'd all do the same thing if they had them with them. They'd reach in their pocket and pull out their cell phones. <laughs> and they say, look at this, 74 degrees in Jerusalem and 64 degrees at the Sea of Galilee. Yes, Jesus would go, wow, that's incredible. That's really something. Oh, that's not all, you would tell Jesus. That's not all. You should see transportation. You should see how much our transportation has improved. You rode on a donkey. <laughs> we have cars that can go 120 miles an hour. We have all kinds of planes and trains, and we have missiles that have brought people to the moon, and they're aiming to go to Mars, and if you want to, there's one heading to measure the inner action of the sun that should arrive there at 2034, traveling something like a half a million miles per second. Wow, incredible. Although Jesus might add, I came down Route 17, I'd prefer to be on a donkey, I think. I would, <laughs> uh, I would have made it faster. But I think Jesus would then, we could then go on to impress him with all all that's happened in the world of medicine, for example. Remember, Jesus, when people got sick, if you didn't heal them, they didn't recover. To get sick in your day was to remain sick and probably die at a very young age. Yes, yes. Wow, Jesus would say, as we explain to him all about pharmacies and surgery and preventive medicine and DNA testing. Wow, what incredible improvements you human beings have made. Yes. But then Jesus would say, you know, I lived at the end of the Roman Empire and I knew the human mind's capacity to create because I saw the engineering that the Romans had done. I saw the size and organization of their military. I saw the power of their laws in an organization. In fact, you've taken a word from them that they designed, the word senatus or senate to use for your own government. But here's the question I have in my mind. I knew the capacity to think that human beings had. This is the concern I've had, which is this. Is there, in these 2,100 years, less anger in relationships and violence between nations? I think we'd all get quiet. I'd turn off my cell phone, I'd put it away. I'd bow my head and I'd whisper, Jesus, no, it's only gotten worse. And Jesus would say, but what about the guide? I gave you the guide to show you the way to authentic love, to form relationships of love, which are relationships of mutual influence for good. That's what the Holy Spirit does. Remember, the devil has a one-word job description. 
divide. The Holy Spirit has a one word job description, unite. Yes, Jesus would say, I wanted you to have the peak experience of humanity, to develop to your utmost the capacity to care. Because in the end, that's the one question I could ask of anyone at the judgment seat of God, no matter what their background or what their proclaimed religion, I could just say to them one question, what did you do with your capacity to care? I know what I did, Jesus would say. I cared to my death. And even after that, as the risen Lord, I didn't just ascend to glory, I gave the gift of the Holy Spirit. Well, our generation, my generation, didn't use the gift to its full. We've used it at times, sometimes very well, but not to its full. And that's why we still have so much anger and so much violence. But the Lord doesn't give up. The resurrection is proof of that. Jesus always looked to the future. He didn't look back. He didn't talk about his wounds and the hurt and the anger directed at him. He talked about what you could become if we accepted the Holy Spirit. We could go forth and proclaim the good news that we could be united as one under the impact of that gift, that guide. So my advice to all of those being confirmed today is for the rest of your life, accept the gift, unwrap it, and use it on the journey to the top. <laughs> Would the candidates please stand? Please respond, I do, to the following questions. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Do. do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body to life everlasting? This is our faith in the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Springs of water, bless the Lord. Give him glory and praise forever. Springs of water, bless the Lord. Give him glory and praise forever. Oceans of earth, sing glory. God, praise to the one who formed you. Sound from the depths a hymn that tells the wonders God has done. Oh, blessed be God forever. Blessed be God forever. Springs of the Lord. Give him glory and praise forever. Would the candidates only please kneel. Dearly beloved, let us pray to God the Almighty Father for these his adopted sons and daughters already born again to eternal life in baptism, that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts and through his anointing, conform them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. Everyone may now kneel as we pray.
Please join me in your hearts and invoke the coming of the Holy Spirit. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these your servants to new birth by water in the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin, send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety, Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord, we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Candidates, sponsors stand. Everyone else may be seated. Justin, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Good. Anna, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you. Maria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Peter, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Francis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. And be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Okay, dear. James, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Anthony, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Jacob, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Maria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Ignatius, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Teresa of, Th of Calcutta, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Bishop, I present Cecilia. Cecilia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Grace, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Cecilia. Cecilia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Giovanna, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Patrick, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Faith, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Bishop, Francis. Francis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Sebastian. Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Good. Bridget, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Francis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Good. Okay. You got it. 
Daniel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Therese, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Elizabeth, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mark, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Isaiah, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Peter, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Elizabeth, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Angela, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joan. Joan, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Francesca, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Patrick, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Nicholas, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Potai, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Good. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Marie, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Anastasia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Cecilia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Francesca, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Elizabeth, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Genevieve, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Victoria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Paul, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Claire, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Grace, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Elizabeth, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Veronica, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Catherine, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Peter, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Cecilia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Martin, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.
Please stand. As we lift up our needs to the Lord, may the sevenfold gifts of the Holy Spirit come down upon us. With the Holy Spirit's gift of divine wisdom, may we infuse everyday life with more gospel values and help more people answer God's call to become priests or deacons, religious sisters or brothers, or more active lay ministers. We pray. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. With the Holy Spirit's gift of understanding, may the world leaders unite and promote peace and justice and provide food, shelter, and and terrorism. May this gift make us more compassionate and forgiving, generous, patient, and kind, we pray. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. With the Holy Spirit's gift of counsel, may we better appreciate and more staunchly defend each and every person's unique human dignity from conception to natural death, we pray. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. With the Holy Spirit's gift of fortitude, may all military, emergency, and disaster relief personnel and all missionaries and service organizations bring comfort and hope, safety and security to all those in any need and for the success of sharing God's blessings, Archdiocese annual appeal, we pray. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. With the Holy Spirit's gift of knowledge, may all who celebrate the sacraments of baptism and confirmation, first penance and first Eucharist, matrimony and holy orders this year, all graduates and students, use the special graces entrusted to them to help renew the face of the earth. We pray. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. With the Holy Spirit's gift of piety, may we always lift up each other in prayer, especially through our parish prayer book. May our reverence for the earth and its inhabitants make us more willing to conserve its resources and more generous in sharing every earthly treasure, we pray. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. With the Holy Spirit's gift of wonder and awe in God's presence, may all the people of St. Mary's Parish, all who offer their life and service to our God or our country, Maureen Krause, and all who died recently and our beloved dead find eternal joy and happiness in God's presence, we pray. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. In gratitude, the newly confirmed lift up in prayer, Pope Francis, Cardinal Tobin, and Father Mike, our parents and godparents, families and friends, catechists, and all who prepared us for this day, and all who were unable to be with us, and Bishop Fleasy, who confirmed us, we pray. Gracious Lord, hear us, we pray. Father Creator, renew your spirit within us. Hear the prayers we offer this joyous day as we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please join in singing our offertory chant, Creator Spirit by Whose Aid. first were laid. Alleluia, alleluia. Give us thyself that we may see the Father and the Son by thee. Alleluia, Alleluia. 
Pray that our offering and sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in the trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity and substance, their equality and majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out, each day, as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, Joseph, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, Lord, your servants whom you have been pleased to confirm today by bestowing the Holy Spirit and keep them in your grace. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of, of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, Lord, we pray. With the blessed word of Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who are pleased throughout the ages, meaning that we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am Lord. Please join in singing our communion hymn, Spirit and Grace. Gather your people and form 
Spirit of God sending us forth, we spread your wisdom throughout all the earth. Gather the nations and form us in Christ. Come be the in our lives in the bread blessed broken and shared Christ is our life whose presence we bear come O Spirit make your grace Please join in singing Bread of Life. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul, as we confess your eternal trinity and undivided unity through Christ, thou Lord. Amen. Bishop Fleecy, on behalf of the confirmation class of 2017, the candidates and our families, I would like to thank you for coming to St. Mary today and bestowing the gifts of the Holy Spirit through confirmation to us. We have learned that confirmation is not the end of our faith life, but just the beginning. We are now ready to take our faith seriously, become active in our parish, and live out our faith through service to others. Thank you very much. I appreciate your thoughtfulness. Bishop, I can cover Jake with every word he said, so thank you for coming today. And I'd just like to briefly thank uh, Larry Boland, who was our confirmation uh, coordinator. <laughs> Mary Kay Benjamin, our parish catechetical leader in the balcony, taking pictures today. 
And Andrea Davis, our communion uh, coordinator, who's here assisting today, along with Marie and Tony Lawler and Carol Resch, who helped with the confirmation program, and Dennis Simmons. And also, of course, Jerry DeMann and Dorothy Dubkowski has been with us all day today. You won with me 5 o'clock last night, 7.30 with me again in the morning, and uh, <laughs> 9 o'clock, so Dorothy's been here all day. Thank you very much. And finally, we invite you to, if you wish to take pictures with the bishop, you're not obligated. I'm sure he wouldn't mind, too. He has another confirmation at 5 o'clock today to talk about his schedule. And uh, if you wish, we're going to go back by the Marion Shrine in front of the old entrance, and we're going to move you along so the bishop can get along and be at his next confirmation in time at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So anyway, once again, thank you, and God bless you all. Okay, thank you. I have about a 40-minute drive to Ridge Ridgefield, and I have to be there at 4.30. So uh, if you could move it along and not... If, after your pictures are taken, if you would flee as if your shirt's on fire, uh, because I can smile nonstop for 20 minutes, but then after that, I turn into the witch from the Wizard of Oz. So. Uh, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.